how do you light up a skate spot at night when you're on a really tight budget? In this video I'll be breaking down my $100 video lighting equipment, show you a couple of different lighting techniques and also get a little bit into the right camera settings for filming at night. Coming up. Kaios Productions. Hey, what's up guys? Kai's here from Kai's Productions, helping you to create better skate videos. And on this channel, we share a lot of skate videos, travel videos and tips and tricks about filming skateboarding. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, whenever you want during the video, check out the link to my Instagram and also other show notes. Let's get into the video. As most young skateboarders, I am also on a pretty tight budget, so I need to find ways how to light up a skate spot without spending $1000 on a generator and even $500 on a professional lamp that you usually run with a generator. In this video, I'm just gonna go through a way cheaper option. I bought everything either on Amazon or on eBay, and now I will go through these options. The winter is about to come, it's getting darker way earlier, so I feel like now is a good time to do this video. Alright, first things first, I recommend using LED lamps because that's just the standard that we have today. They are way more affordable than traditional lamps and they are also lighter and they produce great quality light. So this is my main light. It is a lithium ion battery based construction site LED light. It has nine smaller LED lights inside. Each LED light has 2.5 watts. So the whole thing has around 20 watts of power. They go all the way up to 2000 lum. But a really important difference between this LED light over my other LED light is that it has a lightning angle of around 60 degrees compared to my other LED light which has a lightning angle of around 120 degrees. This is a really important difference because this LED light spreads the light to a little bit more focused point. And the 120 degree light has a really nice basic lightning I usually use it to get some base light off the floor but the more light it spreads the less light you have on one certain point. I bought this LED light for about $50 on eBay. This is a really great starting point. Sometimes I can only use this light as my main light and don't use the other one but it really depends on the spot and I'm shooting a lot on this spot. So here I use a three point lighting system that I will explain in further detail later. It is really important that you use battery based LED lights because otherwise you will have to use generators and we don't want that. This is my second option. It is a battery based 1500 lum LED construction side light. And the big difference to the other one is that this costs only $20 on Amazon, so that's pretty cheap. But I wouldn't recommend it as a starting point because it came in a pack with two of these lights and then also with a tripod. A tripod costs you around $17, but it's in my opinion not that practical to carry it around, so I try to avoid to use the tripod. Also, the build quality of the tripod is not really good, but when you don't have anything else and you only have like 20 bucks, then this tripod is probably the cheapest option, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, it kinda sucks. But this light, however, gives me a nice basic light to light up the bottom and also other parts of the skater. And I also like to use it to compensate some shadows that sometimes just happen, especially at this spot. But if I am at a normal spot, then I usually don't need it. But I like to get it around anyway because it's really easy to carry around. It's pretty lightweight and it's not that big. It's also a 20 watt light lamp. So it has similar power, just spreads the light differently. So my third light is a newer CN160 LED light. It is one of the most sold LED lights out there. It is 
an LED light that is actually meant for video. I like to use it inside and I also like to use it outside. It is a really small lamp, but for a lamp this small, it gives you a whole lot of light. I like to use it on my handle, as you can see in this example, but I have to say the build quality of it is pretty shitty. I even had to hammer it into my handle because the hot shoe was just too tight. It wasn't possible to screw it on there normally, so I had to do it like that. It comes with two different diffusers in two different colors. Depending on what style you like more, I like the neutral style more, so I use the white one. And I generally recommend it to use it when you want to film lines at night, and then it works pretty great. But in this example, I like to use it more as a backlight in order to make the skateboarder a little bit more pop out of the darkness. You have the option on one hand to use rechargeable Panasonic batteries. I personally prefer to use normal batteries just because I don't have Panasonic batteries. The build quality is just pretty shitty. It's all made out of plastic and also the hot shoe is kind of tightened in in my opinion. But when you are on a tight budget you really can't complain about everything. So my main light costs about $50, the second light costs about $20, and the newer light costs about $30. So you have a really nice lighting kit for $100 and that's a really good deal. Here are some folks on camera settings. You should never go higher than an aperture of f5.6. If you can avoid it, better use 3.5, 4.5, something like that or depending on what kind of lenses you got, 2.8 or 1.8. In this example, I like to use the Canon 50mm 1.8. It is really tightly zoomed in and it doesn't have a stabilizer, so I have to either use it on a tripod or on a slider, but that is all right because it lets in a lot of light and that means that I don't have to go as high with the ISO numbers. The higher your ISO is, the more noise you're gonna get in the shot and you don't want that, you want a really clean look. So the aperture of 1.8 allows me to go down with the ISO to 800. Sometimes I have to go to 1600 but that's not that bad. If I had to use my other lens then I easily would have to go to 1600 and all the way up to 3200. And there you can really notice some noise and you don't want it. It also depends on what kind of camera you are using. When you have a camera that is better with low light conditions, then you won't have to deal with this problem as much. I still have an entry level Canon DSLR and they are known to don't have that good of a low light performance, but you can make it work still. Another really important thing is to set your camera to full HD 24fps or 25fps. You can't film with higher frame rates because then you would have to increase your shutter speed all the way up to at least 125 of a second and that is just too dark. But it is also way too fast for the light in this case and the light will start to flicker. So you have to film in Full HD 25 FPS or 24 FPS and you'll be fine. So when you're shooting at 24 or 25 FPS, your shutter speed should be around 50 and that is just perfect for the slide. No flickering whatsoever and you can still capture the trick. Also things like custom white balance and a custom flat picture style allows you to get more details out of the frame and that's what you typically want. You want to have as much detail as possible because otherwise parts of the darkness will just be blacked out completely and it doesn't really look as cinematic as it could be and it also doesn't give you as much room to play in color grading. So definitely make sure to have a really flat picture style but I'm gonna talk about camera settings like these in another video. The most important thing is to find always a spot for your light that is above the spot and above the skateboarder because then the shadows won't be as hard and in general you have more space to light up the spot. 
Now it doesn't matter that much whether you put it on a tripod or whether you put it on some of the surroundings. In this example, I like to mount my light at this kind of metal post. I light it up from above and it works really well. In this example, I like to use cable ties to mount a light at a post. Gaffer tape will also work fine. In my opinion, cable ties work better. As I mentioned earlier, I like to use on this particular spot a three-point lighting system. A two-point lighting system will also work fine. Sometimes you only have to use one light. The main light comes from above. The second light is compensating the shadows at a ledge. I just put it on the ground it lights up the flat ground pretty well and the newer light i like to use as a backlight and that works as well and here you can see why i am the filmer and other people are the skateboarders so thanks so much for checking out this video if you thought the video was helpful leave a comment below like and subscribe for more content like that also don't forget to follow me on instagram keep killing it and we will talk soon